Welcome back to the Hamlet Rags to Ridges. It is part two in season four. All right, so yeah, first off, I'm going to change how I'm doing things here. A lot less highlights. I'm just briefly talking about the uh, matches here. So the first match we are going to talk about here is Maidenhead away from home. Um, a 4-1 victory, and as you can see, completely destroyed them. We were so dominant, so, so dominant here. Um, I think it is down to their fitness levels, just plumbing. But the thing is, we actually did this in the first half. And, and, and then they got a goal back in the second half. But uh, yeah, it completely destroyed them. But I think their fitness was just so far off that it, it, it's kind of obscured how, 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 yeah, how bad it is. At least for them. For us, really good. Next up was against Bromley. We were at home and a 3-2 victory. You know what? It's, it's a nice win. But it's one of those, again, where they are having uh, two, three highlights and they pop up with, you know, two goals. Uh, from a penalty, ah, uh, you know, you know how it is, you know how it is, and the other one was actually uh, a corner. So uh, it's, yeah, it's uh, you know, it's it's one of those days, isn't it? But we did manage to uh, to to get uh, three goals in, and that was very important. And again, we were kind of the dominating uh, squad here. But uh, again, maybe the fitness had something to do. We had very fit players because we were rotating, and them not so much. Well. Things didn't really go according to plan against Hartlepool here, away from home. Yeah, no shots on target. I was uh, I was really questioning uh, my tactic here, that's for sure. What I was seeing in this match was that they were pressing up really high on us. They really tried to, you know, get the ball back really high up the pitch. They played, they really played into uh, high pressure and it worked. We couldn't play out of it. We lost the ball constantly in our own midfield. And they definitely won the game by that. As we can see here as well, positioning wise, we couldn't keep a hold of it. They just, uh, they were just better than us. And when we are meeting, I guess when we are meeting teams like this, we should probably change. But I didn't know, I didn't really get that thought process in this game. That, uh, yeah, that, that took me to the next match before I actually understood what was going on. Because the next match, pretty much same deal. Terrible, terrible. Um, at home again, we are losing it to Chesterfield. I mean, I, I, I was I was sitting there thinking, what is going on? And then I, you know, looked back at the games and analyzed a little bit, and I could see, okay, both teams played high pressure. They really got up on us, and um, y y we we had we we were just struggling so hard here. Also having a couple of injuries, especially one for Uber here, and. But that's not the main thing. The main thing is we played like shit. We could not get a hold on the ball. Everything I tried to do, all I made a lot of change. I could t I could talk endless about all the changes that I was trying to do and what I was, you know, this and that and whatever. But in the end, the way we were playing, it didn't work against these teams that are pressing high on us. Even if they are worse than us, you know, on paper is worse than us. If they press high they they would get the game. So for the next game I of course changed things around. I went back to I went back to wingbacks. <laughs> yeah, I took out the wingers and I played wingbacks and it's it's not great. It's not great, but it's 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 a pretty good win away from home to be honest against Gloucester here. But still we we'll, we're still, you know, giving them too many options in terms of um yeah, they're still they're still getting too many uh shots on and stuff but you know what it's it's better and we did get our position back and i did also change a lot of things tactically uh going into this match uh compared to the other two games so in total way better this time and uh yeah now now we need to talk about what what we what we are playing right now because it, it's 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 back to basic it's back to what we played last season almost without the wingers before we get to that, I want to talk about a couple of transfers here. Allardyce is out. He wanted out, and there we go. He's gone. Um, the transfer window is still going, you know. And I actually got three new signings here. So uh, let's let's take a quick look at them. Uh, Bruno Andrade. Now this guy came in before I changed back to also playing with wing backs. But yeah, it's 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 a winger, but he could potentially play as a wing back as well. And some games we are going to play with wingers and some games we're going to play with wingbacks. It depends on the opponents. Um, so yeah, pretty decent guy. He's going to be here for one year. 750 wages, not a cheap deal, but I did need another winger and I got him. 
But the thing is, we might not play as much with wingers now. Um, but I got him in before I, you know, changed a couple of things back again. So there we go. He's one of the guys in. Uh, Cerny Ando is the other one. And I signed this right after Allardyce. He's a loan deal. I think he's quite good. He's, he's. Uh, I mean, he's not much of a wide center back, but he's, he's decent. He's definitely very physical. So you know what? I'm pretty happy about that. And he's on very cheap wages, 275. I mean, it, it, it seems like a pretty good deal, doesn't it? So uh, that's one of them. And the other one is also here for one year. It's not a loan deal, but he's here for one year. And uh, he's more a wide center back. Uh, not as good as the other guy. But you know what? I kind of needed another one with a good right foot. And we got him. So he's definitely more backup. But... Um, yeah, I, I, I'm okay with getting him in. He can also play in the central area because he is very tall. Jumping reach is 14, heading is 11. He can play in there if we need him to, but we probably don't. We probably want him on the right side. But again, another, again, another tall lad, and uh, that's that's the transfer. The question is then, what is going on with our tactics? Oh man, I've been I've been using a lot of hours on this. I, I, honestly, it's it's insane. Um, I had I had a break here uh, while stream, uh, not streaming, recording, and I was just sitting there eating and you know just thinking about stuff. And here it is. Um, yeah, it, it's been. It, it, we're going back to no, no, we're not going back to wing backs. This is gonna be a, a five minute explanation. Now we are going back to what we kind of played last season. Let's go over the tactics first because it's quite important. We're going balanced mentality as a standard here. Uh, we're calling it the the TLH balanced. It's for uh, the last hope balanced. So. In possession, very much what we saw last year, except from low crosses. We are going, we are going for low crosses. Um, other than that, pretty much what we saw last year. In transition, same deal, same as last year. Out of possession, same deal, except from use title marking. We don't use title marking here, and we do trigger press kind of often. We don't see this this tactic right here, this formation and this tactic right here. This is when we're up against someone like Gateshead. And Gateshead, I know that because I've been in the analyze and, and look out uh, for it. They want to play like vertical tiki taka, have a lot of possession. This is the tactic for that, wing back. We want to make sure that we do not leave too many opportunities for the... Uh, we, 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 want, we want to make it an even game. And if we can, you know, try and find... We, we know this is going to be an even game against Gateshead. So we might as well go back and play with the wingbacks here because they will give us a little bit more defensively speaking and we want to not concede too many goals against these kind of against these guys. We don't want them to just gain the possession and just run us over. We don't want that. That's that tactic, okay? But that's not that's not our, you know, normal tactic because this is actually not the one being set as a primary. The normal primary tactic is going to be this one with the wingers. So it's the same deal. It's the exactly same deal except from a few things we're going on positive mentality here this is the tactic we want to play if we are up against someone who is not playing tiki taka who doesn't really like having the possession they're probably more a counter-attacking style of football or just a worse team than us or something like that something that is not possession based football then we want to play this now the main difference is in here in the out of possession thing. We're gonna go for standard line of engagement. That's gonna take some time for familiar familiarity to get up. But uh, the, it, that that is what we're going for. We want a little bit higher line of engagement and uh, and still the higher line of uh, defensive line. But we do not use get stuck in. We do not want to you know go all crazy on them. So that is out, and we do not use title marking. We do press them, because if they get the ball, we want it back. Uh, but other than that, that is pretty much the same. And of course, the positivity is making sure that we are having a higher tempo than we would on the other one. But that's okay. That is okay. The last one of the three tactics here is called TLH counter. And uh, yeah, that is when we... Um, what, what can I say here? It's a counter-attacking football. It's still similar to the other tactics, but of course we're bringing the wingers way up here. So it's going to be like a 3-1-2-4 uh, formation. We're going to have four guys up here very far up the pitch. Uh, I, I even consider bringing them on um, on attack, but you know what? I, I think I like the support here, uh, even, even going counter-attacking, because I do want to win the ball back and the support role is a little bit better for that. So in terms of possession, we're going for a shoot on side, uh, hit, uh, hit, hit early crosses. We want to get in there as soon as possible because we are probably behind. If we're playing this tactic, it is likely we have gone behind and we need to find uh, a goal. So uh, in, in, in transition, counter, distribute quickly from our uh, goalkeeper because we want to get up there as quickly as possible. We want to find that goal. Out of possession, 
much higher lines, much higher uh, or well higher line of engagement because we wanna we wanna we wanna do the counter. We wanna press them really high up the pitch. We wanna make sure, even if it's a, a possession style football team, we want to start doing something. So also trigger press much more often. We need to get the ball back to get it into the box and score the goals. Now this is all only a tactic when we are in panic mode. When we when we are behind and we need to score goals, this is the panic button. Um, yeah. <laughs> So uh, that's attacking mentality, of course, because yeah, we we need to go we need to go in there and and get those those goals. This is not the standard. The standard is with this one. This is the one we want to go for for most most teams against most teams in the league. I am still worried about the wingers, but against weaker opponents, this should be doable. It should be doable. I might have to go back on uh, on higher tempo. I might go slightly tempo. Actually, we I think I'm gonna do that right away. I think that is exactly what we want to do because I don't think our guys can play in that higher tempo and also have the possession. So we, we need to go back a little bit on that. So yeah, there we go. So, but but the tactic for today's game is this one. Now, one and another couple of other things I could say is about what instructions I have on them and all that. Eh, it's all the same in all the tactics and 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 it's it's probably what you would, you would think it is. It's cross more often, stay wider. Uh, now, this is a new guy. I, I, I want to make sure that Pierre is a central figure in this team, uh, even even when we are playing balanced here. So advanced playmaker it is instead of a Carrillero. Box to box midfield on the left side, deep line playmaker as usual. And um, I think this I, I've. I've the poster have actually done well so far in the in the last couple of games. He's the one t uh, getting the goals from open play, and the target forward, of course, Mills and uh, the other dude is getting them from corners and stuff. That works out. I'm okay with that. I'm I'm still the midfield still needs to be figured out, and this uh, whole system needs to be figured out. But um, yeah, I, I think this is better. I think this is better, and and I, I need to watch out for who we are gonna play. So today, Gated. We're gonna go wingbacks because they are a chiki taga kind of uh, playstyle team. So here we go, and we are live. Right? Could this go all wrong? E absolutely. I mean, absolutely. But I did play with wingbacks in the last match as well, and that seems to be working better. But uh, I definitely didn't check out if they were playing chiki taga possession style football the last match. I think they were, and I think many teams down here is playing like that kind of tiki taga thing and uh, vertical uh, so we might have to play a lot of wing backs this season um inconsistent okay uh, I, I i don't know if that is it, it, yeah okay they lost their last game fair enough um but we we need we need wins we need to win these games gate sets yeah we we need to go out there and grab the grab the win we might not you know win with four goals but two nil two one i'll take that let's go Dressing room, here we go. Uh, if you carry on from last performance, that is exactly what I see. Uh, point fi yeah, point fingers at them. There we go, good. They, some of them got motivated. One got nervous, whatever. He, he's on the bench anyway. So uh, yeah, here we go. Hopefully we can hopefully we can get a good start here because I have rolled... I actually, the tactic that we rolled back to was actually the version 3 of uh, the tactic we started with this season. And then I just, you know, made these new formation little changes on the wingers and wingbacks. Oh, could have been a goal from the get-go, but it wasn't. Hmm. Well, we got the we got the first shot here. Yeah, I got coffee to drink, you know. Uh, but they do. We got a set piece. Oh, just over the top. Never. I never like the set pieces. It's always dangerous. Oof. Okay, okay, okay. So far, so good. We actually have the possession. See, no, give it give it five minutes more. If we still have the possession, we're going to change it over to playing with wingers. Now, cover can play as a winger, which is a problem. That's the problem with cover. When I'm playing cover, he can't play both places. That's, that's a little bit annoying. That is a little bit annoying. Um... But we could pull, we we could put Hill up here. We could let we could let Hill come up here and do it like that. And just, you know, put cover down again. Well let's see how it goes. It seems to be an even game. Nope, there we go. 22 minutes in, and it does look like they are taking the position now. Well let's see how it goes. We might not want to go to positive here. We might just wanna stick it to uh, balanced and make it an even game. Uh, make sure that they have a hard time uh, scoring too. This looks pretty decent. Pretty decent cover. That's a very good ball up to Mills into space. Can he find his marker? No, he he's gonna bring it back to Pierre. Lovely counter-attacking football right there. Lovely by Mills and lovely by cover. And you know, Pierre is popping up as uh, our new advanced playmaker on attack. 
Great stuff. That was a good goal. I think we were just going to let it go on balance here and play this tactic for now. Um, yeah, we, we need to be... We need to be balanced. We we don't want to go positive while attacking here. We just want to do what we do here. It seems like an even game, and that is what I was expecting to see with this kind of tactic in mind. So an even game it is, even at home. We need to do whatever we need to do to uh, get the wins here of this season. Okay. We're playing off from the back, of course. We're going to do that in uh, all tactics, except from the one where we are really going out attacking. That, that, in that tactic, we are going... Uh, <laughs> Yeah, we are going for route one, basically. Actually, I'm not playing route one in it, but uh, we're definitely trying to hit the early crosses and and just shoot on sh shoot on sight. Uh, always press him. Okay, let's do that. I usually take these advices. I usually do it. It might be I mean it might be stupid, but um, I don't really read them too often. I just read what it is, and then, then I'm gonna say yes. Yeah, I didn't like that. Uh, he was offside, so that's okay. But still, I didn't like what I was seeing here. And they do get a little bit too many chances to my liking. That's my worry so far this season. They are getting too many chances. They're definitely... The, it's, it's still an even game, but we they're getting the highlight right now. I don't like it. We've only seen one highlight, and that's the goal, isn't it? But we might get another counterattack here. Oh, Bagger. He's so quick. He's so quick, but he's going wide. He needs, he needs help. He needs help. Come on. Come on. He needs help. There we go. Good cover. That's good. Oh, that's lovely. Oh, that's lovely. That's lovely football. Oh, he's offside. Oh, he's offside. But it was lovely football. And it was from a counter again. Which is interesting. Maybe we should... Maybe we should... Yeah, see, I'm wondering if we could have some kind of tactic like this, but on the counter where we do have the wingbacks in. It's... No. I'm gonna go with no, because we will... No. If I want to go counter, I want I want my wingers in there. So no. I I want high. If 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 we're going on the counter attacking football, it's gonna be high risk. Cover maybe with a good cross here into Mills. It's it's good. It's good. At least we get some uh, highlights here. So um, even game, even game. But we are in front. We get good chances. We get good chances, but not a lot of them. Okay. Okay. But we are keeping... Nah, we're not really keeping them away. They're basically keeping us away. I'm okay with it. Uh, so far, so good. I don't like what I see, but I'm not against it either. You know you know what I'm talking about here? It's like, all right, if we can score on our chances and they can't, well, I guess that is how we're going to deal with the good teams in our league this season and, and the good teams we're going to meet. And otherwise, we can we can go a little bit more attacking with the wingers. And if we are losing from that tactic, we can go counter-attacking. And really high up the pitch. High press, high, you know, really high press, high up the pitch, go counter when we get it. Uh, but I don't really want to risk it for the biscuit. I don't want to because I don't feel like we are the team that is really good at that unless we really need to. So what are we going to say here? I think we're doing well. Um, I mean, yeah, we don't get a lot of chances, but then again, neither they do, neither do they, and we are in front, so can't really be too hard on them here. But we can see right now that we don't get a lot of chances this season, um, so we definitely need to score on the chances we get. I mean, we got two chances in, in total in the last. Uh, okay, okay, we need we need to maybe change things around, and we might need to change it because. I think there is a bigger opportunity. I think there's a bigger chance that they are going to score than us. Or maybe not. Maybe we're just good here on the counter. Wow, he's going through the mid. What is going on here? Barker, wow. That was close. That was close. Up against three men, and he actually uh, managed to get uh, squeezed through it. That's pretty good. I think, I mean, we're still good. It's it's just a very even game, and we are, we are the better team, kind of, aren't we? We even got the possession. We just don't... You know, we don't. It's it's honestly it's it's a, it's a bit strange that we do have so such a good midfield, but we can't manage to find chances. It's 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 very strange to me. Please don't score. Please don't score. Good, Partington. Good. Okay. 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 Fifty-one percent, thirty-two. See, they do. That's that's the strange thing. That's the strange thing. I'm. I should be sitting back and have the possession here. 
No, no, they are Tiki Taka. They are playing Tiki Taka. That's why it's making. That's why it's going to be such an even game because both teams are trying to play football, but neither of us really allow the other squad to play football. So, it, yeah, that's the strange thing here. Hmm. I don't. I don't, I'm just worried that they're going to score from one of these chances they're going to get. No, just continue. Here's another one. Another one. Yeah, I'm, I'm also worried about penalties. We already seen one. Okay, Friel. Okay, now we here we go. Here we go. Come on, Friel. Just, yeah. Okay, he's going down the line now. Please fill, find Mills. Find Mills. Oh, Pierre. Friel, Mills. Come on. Pierre. Ooh. Okay. So, kind of counter-attacking again. Working the ball into the box. And then maybe finding something. I mean, it's it's okay what we're seeing, isn't it? It's just that they're getting a little bit more chances, but their chances are not that great. Our chances are better. That might be a good ball for Barker, but I think he's offside. Oh, it's going to be a corner. Okay, so again, passed into space here, and Barker is in. But a good block by them, I guess. Okay, here we go. This is this is where we're good, Mills. Where are you? Where are you, Mills? Uh, 69 minutes in. We should probably make a substitute here. We should probably make a substitute. Um... Hill haven't been good on that wing by role. That's probably why we are not playing at uh, cover as well, not being that great. Uh, okay, let's uh, let's bring Uber in, and if we're going attacking later on, we do have Uber, and we don't really have anyone we can bring in here for Hill. So he, sorry, Hill, <laughs> it's just can't really do anything about it. I can't really do anything about it. He just has to play there for now. Um, this yellow card to Saha is a bit of a concern, and we do have Beaver now that we can bring in. And then again, we don't really have a left-footed in here, do we? I mean, Foran, is he left-footed? Reasonable. Okay, let's switch him over to uh, the other side then. And let Beaven play the... Uh, n yeah, I also went back to a no-nonsense uh, back again, because that ball-playing defender, that didn't work. That didn't work. Also, we're back to defenders uh, instead of having them on support, because that didn't work either. <laughs> so there we go. And you know what? So far, so good. 1-0. We could still concede one. I am still worried about that. But like I said, if we could get home with like a narrow win here, or we are at home, so I mean, just getting a narrow... Oh, here we go. I hate these. Oh, it's way over the top. I was piss poor. Good for us. 77 minutes. Okay. So far, so good. Very even game. We have the better chances. We're not really letting them get any good chances, at least. Okay, let's make the last stop here. Who are we going to take off? Uber got a yellow. Well, he just came on, so you have to play. Well, yeah, our wingbacks are not doing great in this game, but that could also because, be because of their formation. Uh, I think Mills is probably coming off. Or Ando. No, we don't have a... No, just Mills. Just bring Mills off Whitehall. That's probably a pretty decent move. Yeah, that should do. That should do. But pretty good game by... Uh, yeah, not by our midfielders, but, well, only one of our midfielders. But our midfielders did struggle in this one, I think. It's, it's it's very funny to see how they are struggling in this game because they are three in there. I mean, they're up against uh, three of theirs as well, so I don't know. It, it's it's odd that they are struggling this season so far. Milovic with a free kick. Can we get two? Yes, we can. Well done for Ran on the back post. Now we are talking about a good match because 2-0, clean sheet. We kept them away. We got the win and the game plan is working here. We uh, saw it in the back, got a few goals. I mean, good, very good. Only only three shots on target for them against Gateshead, who was number five in the league, um, and 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 and, all, and also I think they were predicted number four or five or something like that. So that's that's a good game. That is a good game. That is how my game plan. That is how I wanted my game plan to go. So uh, wing backs, well done. For Ran, really good, uh, really good by him in this game, and also uh, what what is his name? Pierre. Pierre did really well with that first goal, uh, getting into the box and, uh, and 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 winning that. But very very even game. It's it's uh, but we were just more lethal, uh, waited for our opportunities, and we uh, we got it. We got it. Yes, that's oh that's such a win. It's such a win. Right, that was that was really really great. 
Now we need to figure out how the next opponent is going to play, because I do want to play one more live match here. And it, I believe it is Rexham. Yeah, that's another tough one. Another very tough one. They, we probably are going to play with the wingbacks again, but we uh, we need to get the, um, uh, what is it called, match report of the uh, opponents here before we can see anything. But let's uh, let's check out some of these stats here. Yeah, we yeah we, we definitely were the bigger team in XG as well. We got some actually really good chances from the counters. So that's good to see. We're not playing counter-attacking football. We just get the counter because we're sitting a little bit further back. And um, we still have possession, you know, but we are not gaining any goals from the possession we have. We gain we gain goals from when we are out of possession and winning it pretty high up the pitch when they're making a mistake. What about the pass map here? Interesting. It, it looks all right, but I would probably like both of our guys to sit a little bit further back here in the midfield to help out the deep line playmaker because he's uh, he's sitting maybe we should put him on uh, support instead of defense here maybe that's a good idea because if he could sit just a little bit further up we would probably get more chances from having part a bit of passing um i think that is something we will do in this formation i'm not sure about the other formations but i think we're going to stick it on support here and yeah, we still we already have three on defense, so it should be fine. Or well, the question is, are we gonna do that for the other? Yes, it's good for this one as well. And what about this one? Yes, also this one. We are gonna stick them all on support and then save them. And of course, we are gonna call them all version four. Is there anything else here I can see? It's it's. I think, I think our wing backs are doing okay. I mean, yeah, Thomas Hill did have he didn't have a good match here. He's not he's not he's not used to play down here, and that might that's my worry right now. We don't have any wing backs for this area, uh, and the one we have is uh, out injury. So great. <laughs> uh, Danny Mills dropping deep. Barker, yeah, he's he's making making it a threat, being up there for the passes into space where he can run into it. I think it's good. I think it's good. I think that's pretty much what we are looking for. Momentum, pretty even. Yeah, uh, to our advantage, of course. That's great to see, and I don't really get a lot out of this. Oh, Milovic is out for six to nine days, so he's not gonna play the next one. Yeah, that's not great. All right, so we got the uh, this. This is what I was looking for, and this is what I need to check out every single match this season. I guess, I guess, because we wanna we wanna figure out if we're gonna play the wing backs or not. So let's check out the analyst report. I believe it is in here. No, it was not in here. It is the other one. Scout report? Nope, it's not that one either. <laughs> <laughs> it's a full opposition report. No, that's not what I was looking for either. Interestingly enough, the thing I'm actually looking for is in the data hub, I think. I think I'm going in here and then checking out next opponents. Here it is. Overview of next opponent. See, I want to see this. This is the main thing I'm looking for. They're playing a direct counter-attacking football. Interesting. So they tend to play with a slightly more cautious mentality at home compared to recent away matches. Huh. They are in very poor form. Um, Let's check out... Uh, can we see their past in the past meetings? They're probably winning over us, aren't they? No, we actually we are actually good against them. But this is another you know another season and all that. So another thing I've also uh, at least in the last match, but I'm I'm starting to look way more into the data hop here. One thing I'm looking for is the crossing. How good are they at crossing? They're not that great, but they're not bad either. That means we can probably play on the outside and let them cross. They are not very good at tackling either. Um, poor tackling, fewer tackles. So that means we can probably have the possession against them. They do have strong hitters when... Uh, okay, that's that's interesting. So what it seems is that it's going to be hard... Um, it's going to be hard kind of scoring against them. They are in... Uh, they have an imprint... Wow, well, that word. Defense. Um, so that's going to be a little bit interesting, isn't it? They have far fewer passes attempted than average. So we know they are counter-attacking kind of football. See, normally when I see Rexham, I would say, okay, I probably need to play wingbacks and play pretty defensively here. But uh, seeing all this and knowing that they are currently sitting number, well, 17 in the league, having a lot of draws, I think I think we're going to go in with wingers here because it also um, accommodate what what our current squad is set up for. So I think we're going to stick it to uh, positive and uh, try and see if we can get them on, on the away here. But it is leaving room on the outside. I, but I think we're going to force them on the outside here. I have actually changed it to that anyway. I think we're going to do that, but I actually also want to get stuck in because I think we can get the ball back and actually win this. So we are going to do that for this match. Um, I think that's going to be... No, it's not going to be changed over. Actually, go go back. Go back on that. Uh, I want to I wanna do it when I get to the match. But we have an idea how we're going to play. Now we just need to get to the match. Now, this could, of course, go all wrong, but hopefully not. So let's choose next match only and do, do these changes here. Get stuck in. I want to get stuck in against them. And what else? I don't think there is anything else I want to change here except from going for this. But I, like I said, it could go wrong because playing wingers and not having the wingbacks, that could definitely go wrong. Rexham 
seems to be in poor form, not doing well, playing this counter-attacking football. So let's just go in positive, because we could grab a win here uh, if we are lucky. With uh, it's, it's a game plan. It, it's, it's a logical game plan, isn't it? I mean, that is my logical sense telling me, okay, I should go for it. I mean, they're playing counter-attacking football. Let's go for it. They're poor in... They're poor in the air, so let them go on the outside and, you know, try and tackle them a little bit harder because they don't seem to like having possession anyway. Let's just have it us, uh, ourselves. And if they do get a goal on the counter, well, th then, then yeah, it is what it is, I guess, then. But I think we should do some rotation here. Definitely do some rotation. Okay, I think this is the team we want to play. Oh, I forgot about the bench, actually. Let's check out the bench. Saha, Foran. Yeah, that's not good. That's not good. We don't want two defenders in here. We only have five subs. We can't have, you know, double up on in a placement here. We, that's not going to do. Man, all my wingbacks, they are injured or not here. <laughs> it's Crowey is injured. John is injured. And uh, Weber is injured. It's it's terrible. Um, I don't really know who to take with me here. It's like a little bit... Uh, you know what? Cameron James. Yeah, put him on the bench. He can at least play in, uh, in both the midfield and the central back area. But if my wingers are gonna break, we're gonna have a we, we're gonna have some trouble because Lane is also out. So uh, yeah, it's 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 not great. All right, I think that's gonna be it. So Whitehall, uh, Dadomo, they have they have both been pretty good. So that's instead of Mills and Barker, I'm I'm kind of rotating between them. Uh, Uber Hill, Pierre. I mean Hill over here. Is that gonna work? Is he left footed? No, not really. Mm. See, I only have one left uh, left footed uh, midfielder, and that's that's Friel, and he's not even left footed. He's just reasonable. Okay, let's just leave Hill over here. I think he could cut in and then shoot from long range from the left side. I don't know if that's gonna work, but Pierre seems to be doing well in that uh, that advanced playmaker role on attack. So let's just leave him in there. Uh, Carrington, a blaster cover, Beaven and undo. So cover is going down here to play the white center back this time, and Uber playing the winger. Yeah, I think that's gonna be good. Partington in goal, of course. As a, as a shadow, uh, shadow. I'm calling it a shadow sweeper keeper. I keep calling it shadow. I don't know why. Okay, let's go. Let's go into this. Another live match here. Yeah, I got to be honest. I'm I'm worried. I am worried. Do we have the right formation? Do, did is it is it okay to do all this rotation? You know, I, I am worried, but I mean they have been poor as hell. But uh, we might need to go back to that wing back doing this match if if uh, if it looks like we are not doing well early on. But uh, if we do get the position and we do get a couple of shots off, I guess we're gonna stick with it then. Uh, we're doing well, yeah. Just just say that. That's okay. I mean, we are doing kind of well, but. I wish I didn't lose two games in a row back there in uh, the early stages of this season. It's it's not great to do that. <clears throat> okay. Let's see. Pierre up to the Domo. This is probably not a highlight, but... Okay. Or maybe it is. Okay. Lovely. Lovely, Pierre. Okay. Okay. Take the shot, mate. Okay. I mean, better than nothing, I guess. Winners? Or free kicks? Yellow already? That's not great. Uh, right. That's not a great man to have a yellow on. <laughs> that's, that's, not, that's not good. Uh, free kick for us after five minutes. Okay. That's all right. I mean, that was pretty good goalkeeping there. Uh, how are we doing? 66% one shot. Seems to be working so far. Well, let's just give it a few more moments here. 64% after 12 minutes. It seems to be working for us. They're probably going to get a couple of counters and we're going to get a lot of these <clears throat> these opportunities from set pieces. Sorry about my voice here. Pierre, come on, take a shot. Did it, did it not? Okay, that was a very strange shot. Is, did he try to loop it or I don't know? I thought it hit someone, but no. So, well, my game plan is working so far. Wow, another set piece over here. As a, as a, yeah, we don't go for the long throws. We're going for the um, short throws, actually. Uber, cross it. Take a corner. I'll take a corner. 20 minutes in and we're looking good. We're looking good. We are. The game plan is working. The game plan is working, for sure. We just need that goal. Cover. Close. Close. Oh, yeah, we are definitely looking uh, good here. But I am worried about those counter-attacks. Okay, Carrington, back to Ando. Cross it. All the way over to Uba. Can he get it to it? Yes. Into Hill. He's losing it. Cover, picking it up. Okay. That's piss-poor cover. You have to do a lot better than that. Oh, Jesus. Here comes the counter. Here comes the counter. Get home. Get home. <laughs> See... 
See, that's 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 where they're gonna get goals if they're gonna get any. That's that's our danger. That's the danger. That's the danger. And our wingers are not doing that well anyway right now. Okay, another corner. But we are pressing them. We are pressing them high. Mm, and here comes the counter. Here comes the counter again. Shit. Fourth them out. Fourth them out. Winners. Winners. Well done, Uber. Well done. And now we can counter them. Come on. Yeah, 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 yeah. Ah, that's a piss poor ball from Pierre. But whatever. Winners. Yes. Good, 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 good. It's a ding-dong match right now. But you know what? It's, um... Yeah. Yeah, 34 minutes in and we are definitely the best team, aren't we? Yeah, we are. We are definitely the best team. But I am still worried about those. But again, forcing them outside and letting them try and cross it, that is our best opportunity of defense. That is our best def defensively... That's the best we can do defensively. Um, especially when we're having wingers up there. Okay, they do get a... Just before the half here. Can we win that? Yes, good. Ando. Why are you that slow? Why Why did you not go for it? That's uh, Who was that? Dadomo, please. Come on, mate. Come on, mate. They're gonna cross it here, aren't they? No, they're not. Don't, 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 no penalties. No penalties. Don't do it. That's, that's okay. I mean, they, they did actually get through us with uh, passings, but yeah, okay. Half time, and I would say it's an even game after the last couple of uh, highlights for them here. Probably pretty even. Yeah, that's exactly what the XG suggests as well. Um, yeah, I... Oh, what? Do I have Milovic with me? Why do I have that? That's a mistake. I didn't want him with me. Well, uh, okay. So, do we want to change anything? Have they changed anything? They're playing this strange formation through the mid, so that's probably why we're not doing that well. Hmm. No, I think we're just moving on. I think we're okay. I think we're okay. I'm happy with how they dominated. Yeah, that's exactly what I want to to say, actually. Wow, there's something wrong with my voice today. I can uh, get something in my uh, throat here. <clears> throat> Annoyingly, winter time. I mean, I'm not annoyed by winter time. I'm just annoyed that I have something in my throat that shouldn't be there. Hmm. How is uh, I need I need to watch this. I need to watch this. This seems like they're doing better now. I think they're getting more and more counters in. I don't like that. They're getting more and more the ball as well. I think I think we're going back to the wing backs here. Um, I'm getting worried. I, I don't see the positive uh, being that great here. So let's bring, I think Carrington can play here, and Uber can definitely play here, so it should be fine. Uh, these yellows is kind of a worry, especially on the deep-line playmaker. The midfield is not working for some reason. <laughs> Maybe we do need a carry Lero in there. I mean, Pierre is working. Pierre is definitely working in that role. The deep-line playmaker is not working for some reason. Milovic I don't know, should we play something else than deep line playmaker down here? Maybe a ball winning midfielder. I don't, maybe anchor man. I mean, he will just pass it onwards to someone who is better than him. But it's on defense, so I don't know. I think like a ball winning midfielder on support might be better. But we can, yeah, well, we need to we need to switch him out, that's for sure. So who is he coming off for? Uh, James? Sure, you can go up there and play there. That's okay. Um, I'm st also worried about cover and even getting a red card here. They're playing okay, but you know what? Cover, I think you're coming off for... Yeah, we don't really have anyone who can play on the... Actually, Ando, can you play over there? Are you left-footed as well? No. No, you're not. Okay, then not take cover. let's not take cover off then. Maybe be even for Foran. Sure. And uh, let's ease him off the the tackles here because we don't want him to get that uh, we don't want him to get that double yellow. Ra rather, rather just not tackle then. <laughs> okay, two changes pretty early on here in the half, but you know what? If I feel like it's 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 needed, I feel like it's needed. So we're going back to balanced, and uh, I'm doing that because I can see the momentum is changing. They're getting more opportunities. Our position is going down, so why not? Let's just change back to. I mean, a, a draw here is not. You know, really bad. Uh, you know what? It's it's Rexham, but seeing how they have played the last couple of matches, they get a lot of draws. So maybe we should play for the draw here, uh, or get that very narrow win where we get one 
you know, corner or something, but at least not giving them too many op opportunities to win the game. That's that's my main thing. Oh, that's a big chance, man. Big chance there for uh, for this dude. I can I cannot name him yet. Dadomo. It's a, it's a great name, Dadomo. <laughs> I love it. But I just forget it. Okay. How we're looking now. I should probably just play with this open. Okay, we actually got that one chance that is... Okay, let's see. What is this? No, not through the mid. Ah, oh, you... What? I did not expect to see that kind of goal from them. Let's see. What, whoops, what happened here? That is just way, way too easy. Foran way out of positioning here. He just let the guy go. In between our two central defenders this close to him. Fuck me. Well, now we need to go on the attack. We can live with this result. I mean, I, why, why would I? I I'll rather lose 2-0 than, than not try to get something. Let's just give it a second here, because we haven't played long on this balance. Okay, maybe not the opportunity here to bring it back. Wow, I thought that went in. I actually thought that went in, but no, no such luck. 64 minutes. I mean, we are getting chances, but... We haven't seen anything where I'm thinking, okay, we're going to score a goal. Now, will they get another chance to bring bring a 2 nil up? If that's going to happen, we definitely... Oof, that's long shot. Um, playing, uh, carrying a more familiar position. And What? Isn't he playing as a winger? Oh, no, he's playing... Okay, let's... Uh, yeah, we are, we're going to go for it here. We're going to go for it. We need to. We need to go for it. Go ahead. Go ahead. 30 minutes. We need to go for it. See if we can find something. Maybe we'll concede another one, but well, if that's the case, so be it. We haven't we haven't looked good here in the second half. And allowing that one chance in, there we go. One counter attack and uh, they are in. Doesn't look good, does it? Uh, we do have one sub left. We didn't get a single chance here uh, after doing this, so it doesn't look good. Uber, 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 Uber could come in and bring Hill out there and then take Khalil. That's what we're going to do. Hill out here. And... Yeah, that's that's it. That's it. And just move on. I mean, my game plan worked. I... Yeah, they got that one goal. And it seems like going for the counter here is not working. Well, we do get this counter... Uh, a corner. Counter, corner. Corner counter. <laughs> Come on! We get our chances. We do get our chances to bring it back, but we're not taking them. One last chance? No. So you have seen what I tried to do, and you know what? The game plan kind of worked, but we were just not good enough. We were just not good enough. And I have a feeling that top three is way out of reach. It's way out of reach. I think playoff. Right now, if we can get the playoffs, I think we're good then. Top three. We 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 don't have we don't have what it takes to get top three right now, as far as I can see. Um I mean yeah, Rexham is a big team, but they were piss poor form and we give them the first win of probably the season, or at least maybe the second goal or second uh, win of the season. This was piss poor. Um not in terms of our game plan, that worked. But in terms of not getting a goal, we were not good. And that's my that's my worry right now. It seems like there's something we don't we can't find the chances. We are not getting enough chances to to win the games. And and the chances we are getting, we are not gonna score on them for some reason in these games. And if we don't do that, we don't win games. It's that simple. So my game plan is working. The players are not executing it. That's that's about it. I can say it right now. We had the chances to score a goal, even two goals in this uh, match. We didn't take it. We we have the possession, we have the game control. Game plan is working, like I said. So what can I do here? I, I, don't, I don't really see what I can do about it. Other than just continue what I'm doing and, and, and make a game plan for every single match. Yeah, so uh, yeah, let's move on. It's, it's, it's such a disappointment, but 
let's just move on. Right. Okay. So Wrexham, yeah, it's um, it is what it is. I mean, Wrexham is not a bad team. They have just poured. They have just played really poorly in in the first half, I guess, of the season. So there we go. We need to figure out when we are coming back here. Um, I have honestly Barnet. Is that 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 could be that could be something? I could also yeah, maybe Barnet easily. That's uh, that that seems like a good opportunity. Even if fleet. Epps Fleet is coming up. Hello, Epps Fleet. <laughs> um, but yeah, maybe Barn and East League, maybe Bar maybe East League, but Epps Fleet, uh, something like that. Southend is also a big one. Uh, but I'll probably come back after six, seven games or something like that and uh, play two games again. So uh, there we go, guys. I hope you... Uh, I mean, it's not going good here, is it? But... I, th I think top three is out of the question here. I don't think we're good enough for top three. I think we were. I think we were better last season for some reason. Uh, better combination of players or something like that. I mean, the players we have this season is overall probably better, but it maybe takes some time before they are connecting well. And it, it, th at that time, we already have three losses. If you want to win the title or get top three, you, you can. You can lose three. You can. You can. You can do this. This is not. This is not. This is not what a top three team is gonna do. So uh, I think it's out of the uh, playoffs. Is still all, uh, the playoffs is still there, but top three. I'm 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 gonna. I mean, we could we can find some really good form and come back. Sure, but right now I'm saying playoffs probably. Unfortunately, unfortunately, it's just pr probably gonna be playoffs top seven. But anyway, guys, I hope you enjoyed it, and uh, I will uh, I'll see you around next time.